Uh, the concern is, and uh, treasury, and now we issue a lot of uh, uh, debt, mm. TBOs, TNOs, T-bonds, and they use some of the money to increase mm. the balance at the TGA. So they will send some money back mm. to increase the cash balance at the mm. Federal Reserve. But what, why is it a problem? Hi everyone, welcome to our Curious Investor Podcast. Uh, my name is Gabriel Lee. So today here is me, with me, uh, uh, 15th of June uh, is Redmond Wall, our SASO strategies. So Redmond, um, so the US market is doing pretty well. Year to day, the SPY uh, rose around 15%. Uh, the earnings seems to be quite nice. Uh, investors are quite risk on, but there should be some headwinds coming, right? So a, a lot of analysts talk about uh, the we feel the TGA, the Treasury General Account, can be uh, like an event that drains the market liquidity and affect the stock market. So can you tell us more about that? Uh, yeah, Gabriel, yes. Thanks for, first of all, thanks for having me today. Yep. And uh, the replenishment of the uh, TGA account has been a concern for a few weeks. And mm. uh, um, I think that, yeah, let's take a step back. Let's explain what the TGA mm. is. I mean, TGA is uh, the Treasury General account. It's, the, it's like you and me have a bank account uh, uh, that, you know, we can use. Like petty cash. cash yeah. Out, yeah, we mm. put a cash there. And then and the Treasury also has an account at the Federal Reserve. And usually the Treasury maintains about 500 to 600 billion of balance there. Mm. And what happened this year is because at the beginning of the year mm. and the U.S. government has hit the debt ceiling. Mm. So what it means is they cannot borrow uh, more and, and the net increase in uh, borrowing. Yeah. So the Treasury, of course, have to continue to finance yeah. the government, continue to pay the coupon. And so they have to use some of the money there at the bank. Yeah. So they have been running down the, uh, the TGI account balance uh, to below 30 billion at the low point mm. uh, on the 1st of June. And, um, but uh, you know, it's the, uh, uh, President Biden, I mean, the Congress first passed mm. a, a bill to yep. suspend the, uh, the, the debt ceiling yeah. so that the government can borrow again. Yeah. And then uh, Joe Biden, uh, President Biden signed the bill um, uh, on, the, on the 3rd of June. So after that, uh, Treasury can, uh, the, uh, US, the US mm. government can start borrow again. So um, the concern is, and uh, Treasury, and now we issue a lot of uh, debt, mm. TBOs, TNOs, T-bonds, and they use some of the money to increase mm. the balance at the TGA. So they will send some money back mm. to increase the cash balance at mm. the Federal Reserve. But what, why is it a problem is because mm. If, if, the, if the treasury uh, just issues some debt mm. and, then, um, the, uh, and then use that money to, to, uh, to finance the government expenses or to pay down yeah. uh, debt or to pay coupon, the money still stay in the banking system. Mm. But if they use some of those money to take it back, I uh, take it to send it, send it to the treasury mm. and to deposit in the TGA, the treasury general account, and the money move away from mm. the bank uh, reserve. Yeah, leave the banking system. Mm. Yeah, leave the banking system, system, and then goes into the federal reserve, mm. and that is a drain to the liquidity of the banking system. Mm. That is why some of the analysts and uh, ahead of the, the mm. passage of the debt ceiling bill and has uh, some concerns. Say, okay, maybe mm. after the pa passage of the debt ceiling bill, uh, there will be some liquidity drain to the market, and that is going to happen mm. within a relative short time. Yeah, and like what's the timeline? The yeah, what's the timeline and the gap like missing like from the current level of the GTA yeah. as the as the target level? Uh, I mean, it's uh, as of the end of uh, 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 May, mm. it's about forty eight billion, and all the way down to twenty. And now uh, I think it's uh, now currently it's about 70, 70, uh, 77 billion. Mm. Right? And uh, last week, uh, the Treasury uh, announced that. And they plan to increase the cash balance at the TGA mm. uh, back to uh, 425 billion by the end of this month. So uh, you're talking about just two, three weeks time. Uh, they have to be uh, that, that uh, uh, they will send uh, uh, some net, you know, uh, cash into yeah. the TGA, and by uh, I think it's increased from 70, 70 billion, 77 billion all the way to mm. 425 in such a short time. There's uh, more than. 300. 375 billion, billion, you know, cover level. So it's quite a big chunk, and because it's uh, you mm. can see that the uh, quantitative tightening by the mm. Fed, 
the Fed was drinking 95 billion a month yeah. and uh, by, by not rolling over the treasury, mm. treasury 35 billion uh, MBS. Mm. So, I mean, that's larger than the QT the Fed mm. is doing. So that, that creates some concern. It's a reasonable concern. Yeah. 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 So, um, where's the money from? I mean, is it all from the bank reserve or would there be some other sources of funding? Yeah, I think you you asked a very good question yeah. because it's I think uh, my personal opinion is that uh, you know it's a uh, debt for three hundred seventy billion or something uh, net increase mm. and probably will not affect the uh, excess reserve the bank has at the Fed. Oh, so, so it's not from the reserve. All, all. I mean, oh. it have some impact, some impact. but not uh, as large as this uh, headline number, mm. and the impact may in fact is uh, less than uh, mm. uh, three hundred seventy or three hundred seventy five billion. Uh, 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 over the next two three weeks, the reason for mm. that is because it's uh, uh, much of the uh, the church will be issuing securities, mm. and many of them will be in the form of T bills. T bills. Mm. Uh, to explain a bit, T bills is uh, anything you know those discount paper and um, maturing yeah. up to twelve months. Within twelve months, yeah, yeah. Within twelve months, yeah. And one of the big buyers mm. for T bills uh, uh, is the money market funds. Mm. This money market fund. They can only invest in short term. Uh, mm, yeah, yeah. So what right. they do is, I, I, they, they usually have uh, uh, two investments. Some mm. is the, uh, the bulk of it. Mm. And, uh, one is they buy T bills. Yeah. The other ones they invest in the reverse repo market. So method one would actually suck the liquidity from the market, right? Uh, to uh, the TGA. It's method two, it won't, right? It depends on how yeah. it finance it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, is that. Uh, if a money market fund buy the T bills, mm. okay, and if they use the mon money, they take the money out from another bank, they mm. account another bank, uh, and so on to buy the yeah. uh, buy buy the treasury bills. But then that will be uh, the mon the money will be leaving the banking system mm. back to the treasury uh, federal reserve. This will affect but, the market. Yeah, yep. but as I mentioned, mm. uh, the the money market fund and they are investing mainly two type of assets. Mm. Right? One is the T bills. One is the uh, the the reverse repo mm. facility. Maybe I can explain yep. a bit more. Sure. Uh, the reverse repo uh, agreement is uh, is basically is the money market fund. They place their open uh, money at mm. the Federal Reserve overnight. Mm -hmm. Only the overnight not an overnight deposit. It's mm. not exactly a deposit. They place it there. In return, the Federal Reserve will pay them an interest rate. Mm. At the moment, it's 5.05%. Mm. 5 and then the Federal Reserve will also give the money market fund some treasury as a security, as a collateral. So mm. that's why it's called reverse repo. Mm. So uh, it's very safe. Mm. U is very good, 5.05. But so, still slightly less than the treasury, right? Uh, slightly less, yeah. yeah. So, um, but anyway, it's uh, that make. If they are getting 5.05, it's very safe mm. uh, uh, form of investment. So the money market fund can pay relatively high mm. uh, return to mm. the investors. So that's actually why uh, money market fund has been attracting mm. quite a lot of investors from those depositors at regional bank. They ask, you know, the regional bank are paying 1% or something for the deposit. So, so the money leaving to the money market fund. But back to the question mm. is, if when uh, the Money market fund when they buy the T bills, mm. as you mentioned, the T bills is yielding more mm. than the reverse repo. Yeah. So uh, for those T bills, uh, the option uh, so far this month is uh, we uh, if looking at the money market equivalent yield, mm. the yield and not the headline discount rate. Mm. Uh, so uh, it's about it's range between five point one nine five, not around let's say mm. five twenty to all the way to five fifty. So it's substantially higher than the 5.05%. So that's quite enticing or attractive mm. to the Manara market fund. So what we what what I what I think they will do probably and oh. they will reduce their investment yeah. at the um at the uh, repo, reserve reverse 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 repo, repo. at the Federal Reserve and then use those money to buy uh church rebuilds, mm. uh newly issued by the church And mm. that will be if they are doing that, that means the money just moving from uh, one item mm. at the first balance sheet at the liability side mm. from reverse repo mm. to uh, the treasury general account. So, mm. so I mean, the money is anyways at the Federal Reserve. It's mm. not in the banking system. So mm. it's only the money market fund. Mm. Now they buy T bills and they say so they move the money from uh, the reverse repo to uh, the uh, the treasury and the treasury put it in the treasury general account. That is back to the Federal Reserve. So. Mm. There will be no liquidity drain if they are doing that, mm. and uh, so 
Uh, you think they are doing that, right? Uh, I think so. I mean, yeah. it's, uh, uh, but of course, not the whole amount, but yeah. that will help to mitigate, to yeah. reduce the impact. Mm. And so that the, the liquidity drain will not be as big mm. as uh, people fear. For example, uh, mm. I mean, we don't have the latest number yet, but the last number we have is uh, up to uh, the 7th of June. Mm. So that's uh, um, uh, last Wednesday. So mm. that's after the passage of the of the debt ceiling uh, resolution for uh, you know, three days, three mm. days. And that is uh, the Treasury already issued some bills mm. by then, and also some that settled already on mm. the 6th. And so um, we actually seen that is, uh, uh, that is a decrease in the uh, in reverse, the repo. reverse repo balance, oh. yeah, and uh, 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 and then we also seen a uh, increase in the TGA, yeah, mm. yeah. and uh, but and but interestingly, mm. the excess reserve bank holding mm. uh, at the, at the Federal Reserve also increased during oh. that time. But I mean, we so so is uh, uh, that has not been the drain at least for oh, three yeah. days, yeah, and um, so some of those uh, uh, mechanisms may be happening like that, and mm. we will learn more. Uh, today, in fact, because mm. today is uh, uh, the the Federal Reserve issued the, the weekly report mm. uh, on uh, about the bond sheet composition. Mm. So we will see uh, the latest number uh, as of the closing of yesterday mm. uh, about the reserve US report agreement, uh, the TG account mm. balance, and also the excess reserve. So uh, yeah, I mean we we we'll, we we'll find out more. But the thing is, I think that the key thing we want to. Uh, uh, tell our audience yeah. that yes, that is a headwind, mm. potential headwind, potential headwind. Mm -hmm. and the market uh, were, were correct to mm. pay attention to it. Mm. But the, the the impact and the headwind may not be as large as mm. that fear, and the impact on the uh, stock market may not also be that big. Mm. And we need to, but we need to follow it, we mm. monitor it. So um, so uh, uh, yeah, we need to numbers. Set, let's say coming up uh, today, yeah. uh, later on. And uh, I think we'll update our investors. And uh, so investors that have interest, they can check our platform, our website, and yeah. write about it on our daily commentary or some, or also on our, our occasional uh, article uh, commenting about monetary policy mm. and also about the uh, stock market as well. Yeah, I see. Yeah. So we depend on you, Redmond, for your updates. And it's not only coming from me. <laughs> yeah. And we have a team, sex a team okay. of uh, uh, market strats, and uh, we have um, many colleagues uh, in Copenhagen. I see. We also have colleagues uh, in Amsterdam and uh, Australia, Singapore. And uh, so, uh, uh, I mean, we have a t the whole team yeah. here uh, from different yeah. specialties. And uh, we have a big team of specialists in Copenhagen. I see. Specialists in Copenhagen. Also, see. So for our audience to stay tuned, uh, please click like and subscribe our YouTube channel, as well as you can find Redman pieces and uh, Redman's team's pieces like on the platform and on the website. I think personally, I think they are very insightful and useful for my investment journey. And I hope you like our, our podcast too. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your kind work. Thank yeah, you. Great.